In this video, I'll show you how to use our ASP.NET MVC dashboard extension to create a web application that will include both a designer and a viewer. I'll start by creating a new project and selecting DevExpress Template Gallery. Click OK and select Empty Web Application from the ASP.NET MVC category. Click Create Project. In the Project Wizard, I'll leave the empty layout. Go to the Suites tab and check the box next to the dashboard to attach the style sheet and script required for the ASP.NET MVC dashboard extension. Click Create Project. First, we need to create a controller that will contain methods calling views. Note that our application will contain two views, one for the designer and one for the viewer. To create a controller, right-click the Controllers folder and select Add Controller. Click Add and change the controller name to Home Controller. Rename the index action method to Dashboard Designer and specify the name of the view explicitly in the view method call. Let's create a view with this name. Right click the Home folder inside Views and select Add View. Change the name of the view to Dashboard Designer and click Add. Remove all generated code from the code editor. Right click it and select Insert DevExpress MVC extension. Go to the Visualization tab, select Dashboard, and specify the extension name. Click Insert. Then, set the width and height properties to 100% to fill the entire page. Now we need to specify absolute positioning for our extensions. Go to the layout.cshtml file placed inside the shared folder and wrap the render body method call inside a div element with the required CSS settings. We need to supply our designer application with a predefined data connection that will be used to bind a dashboard to a database. You can copy the sample connection string from the documentation to the web.config file. Change the path to the Northwind Access database from absolute to relative. Now we need to add the nwin.mdb file to the app data folder. It acts as a data directory specified in the connection string. Right-click App Data and select Add Existing Item. Locate the nwin.mdb file in DevExpress Demos and click Add. Now we need to create a special storage that will keep dashboards. Create the dashboards folder inside App Data. Then switch to the dashboardconfig.cs file and uncomment the line that calls the set dashboard storage method. We need to change the path to the dashboard storage by appending dashboards. Keep in mind that the set dashboard storage method exposed by the dashboard configurator specifies a storage globally for all MVC dashboard extensions added to the project. Our designer application is ready. Right click the dashboard designer view and select View in Browser. Click Create to create a new dashboard. Change its name to Dashboard 1 and click the Create Data Source button to create a new data source. In the Data Source Wizard, select the NWIN connection, which was added to the web.config file, and click Next. On the next page, click Run Query Builder, locate the Invoices view, and drop it to the empty area. Select the All Columns checkbox and click OK. Then click Finish. Finally, click Create to create a dashboard bound to the added data source. Now you can add dashboard items. Click the Chloropleth Map icon to add a map. Click the Binding Menu button and set an attribute to Country. In the Map section, select Extended Price. Different countries will be colored according to their values. Then, click the Options Menu button and select Europe. Add the card dashboard item. Bind it to the extended price and city fields.
add order date as a sparkline argument, and set its group interval to quarter year. You can also enable interaction between dashboard items. I'll enable filtering by countries. Select the chloropleth map and enable the multiple master filter mode in the interactivity menu. Finally, save the dashboard. The dashboard XML definition will be saved to the app data dashboards folder. Now let's create a viewer to display our dashboard. Go to the home controller and insert another action method, which will be called dashboard viewer. Right-click the Home folder inside Views and select Add View. Change the name of the view to Dashboard Viewer and click Add. Right-click a code editor and select Insert DevExpress MVC Extension. Then add the viewer extension we made earlier for the designer. For the created extension, set the working mode property to viewer only. This is the only difference between the settings of our designer and viewer. Finally, set the width and height properties to 100%. The viewer is ready. Right click the dashboard viewer view and select view in browser. The viewer displays the dashboard stored by the app data dashboards path. You can select different countries on the map to see how cards visualize corresponding data. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our ASP.NET MVC extensions, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel to get all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.